Hello friends! In this video I'm going to be reviewing the Stedler Mars Graphic Duo brush marker. You can see that this marker has a variety of really beautiful colors and I am able to get some nice thick down strokes. I wouldn't say that this marker is one that gives you super thin hairline upstrokes, at least not after you've used these markers for a bit of time. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, the tips just don't feel as crisp to me as some other brush pens. But as you can see they are really flexible so that's a great characteristic to have. Another great characteristic about these brush pens is how some of the colors write with that ombre effect. I know that I mentioned in earlier videos that I think part of that has to do with using a nice paper. And I am also pushing pretty hard down on my brush pens, but many of the colors are very vibrant. So you can definitely see some of that contrast in some of this lettering. This brush pen also has a bullet tip for monoline lettering. As you can see, this brush pen is not water resistant. And I am going to go ahead and show you how this marker works if you were to use it like watercolor. I'm just coloring some of that marker onto a piece of ceramic, I think, and then using my Pentel Aquash water brush to pick it up, and it makes really beautiful lettering on a watercolor paper. This marker is also blendable, and I think that's one of the things that I was most impressed with. I almost didn't do this method where you put the two tips of the markers together, because the marker tips felt so soft, and I just wasn't sure that the pigment would transfer from one to the other. But I was actually really impressed, and it took quite a bit of writing to get that second color off the marker. So if you are really looking for something that does beautiful blending, this marker might be a good option for you. I didn't do much experimenting beyond these colors, but there are a lot of beautiful colors in this pack, so it would not surprise me if you could do some really pretty color combinations when blending these markers. So in my opinion, these are really nice. The tip is a little bit softer and not quite as bouncy as some other brush pens and doesn't feel quite as crisp, but you do get some beautiful colors, you can do beautiful blending, and you can get those thick and thin down strokes. I will leave a link for the playlist for my pen a day challenge pen review videos if you are interested in watching more pen reviews for hand lettering and I will see you in my next video.